Well, one thing people often have trouble with while using shoot-off is getting a projector arena to calibrate. So this video is going to show you some of the common problems and how to deal with them. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to check to make sure that your setup is right. So one thing to note is that my projection from my projector is all on one surface. I don't have part of it on the wall over here, I don't have it cockeyed, I don't have it on the ceiling, I don't have any of those crazy situations. It's all on one surface and it's square. Notice that it looks like a rectangle. Another thing that you're gonna notice is that I have my, per my camera over here on a tripod so that I can line everything up nicely. There is no excuse to not buy a tripod like this. This is an Amazon Basics tripod, comes with a nice bag and everything, costs $17. You're probably paying more than that for the batteries in your laser trainer. No excuse to not get one of these. Makes it way easier. Well, if we come up to the computer, what you're gonna see, because I have that tripod and because we, we, we have the projector square, the, the projection looks like a rectangle on this, on this feed. The other thing that you'll notice is that the entire projection is visible. We don't want part of it cut off, we want to see the entire thing. So one common problem some of you have seen is that when you open the projector arena, the projector arena does not start on your projector. This can happen because shoot-off wasn't successful in actually finding your projector. So the way that you deal with this is you click this projector arena window right here, not to the main shoot off window, the projector arena, and you manually move it over to your projector, which on most systems by default will be over to your right. So once I manually move it over, you can see what it looks like there now. Now what I have to do is I have to press F11 on the keyboard, and you see that it automatically full screened and it's gonna calibrate now. Done. Final thing that can happen is that uh, the auto calibration fails on you. So if auto calibration fails on you, when you walk up to your computer, what you're going to see is that it's going to automatically switch to the tab for the camera that was trying to calibrate. You're going to see this orange message at the top asking you to manually calibrate, and you're going to see this purple square. So the first thing to notice in this particular case is that fail to auto calibrate because not all of the projection is on the screen. So if I adjust the, the, the camera real quick, I can get the entire uh, projection on the screen now. So in this case, if I were to stop calibrating and recalibrate again, then it would do auto calibration again and I wouldn't have to do anything manually. But I do, just while we're here, wanna show you real quick what you do if you do need to manually calibrate. So you just treat this uh, purple square as if it's a target and you size it up so it overlaps with a projection on your wall. And when you get it good enough, you're probably not gonna get it perfect even with a tripod, just because uh, uh, it, it's hard to line everything up absolutely perfectly. But when you get it good enough, you hit the stop calibrate button, and then now you can use the projector arena as you normally would. That's it for troubleshooting the projector arena. Be sure to check our wiki when you have questions about how to use some of the features of Shoot Off, or when you have troubleshooting questions, uh, at least if YouTube doesn't help you. If the wiki also does not help you, uh, please ask your question on Reddit and somebody from the community will almost always answer your question and help you out the same day that you make your thread. A final option is to email us. Now we would ask that you use that as only your final option if nothing else worked for you, just because we get so many emails. Thanks for watching.